Well, we usually have a light for them. Barbara Spears wishes more was done by now to restore her family business, Barnsdall Meat Processors. It lay at the center of the May 5th tornado's path. We was inside our plant, our business. Everything just went to blowing and falling and that's about it. The tornado claimed two lives in Barnsdall, leveling infrastructure and homes throughout its path, including the Spears business and their house, which are barely visible anymore. And my daughter's house was over there. It got wiped out. Our footage Tuesday shows the town still has a long way to go. Spears argues the FEMA process is taking too long. They came here the day after Memorial Day to look at our house and we ain't seen nothing, heard nothing yet. For two months, FEMA's Disaster Recovery Center has set up in Barnsdall, Sulphur, and Bartlesville to help with applications and active cases. The agency announced Tuesday the Bartlesville location was no longer needed and will close Wednesday. Barnsdall's will stay open. They can get that in-person assistance from a FEMA representative, and the FEMA representative can still help them apply for FEMA if they haven't done so yet. They can help them check their application status. They can help them update their application. Several residents here in town, including Spears, tell me they're still waiting for answers from FEMA. FEMA says if that's the case, just keep contacting them over the phone, on their website, or at their station here in town. Spears says without her business or her house, her family can't afford a 4th of July celebration and will probably spend it taking care of her chickens. We got a camper out to Lake Birch Lake that they let us stay till the end of July. You know what you're going to do after that? No. In Barnsdall, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.